Welcome to Cuba's webcast on Beacon Technology. If you are new to the term iBeacon, it is Apple's Bluetooth Low Energy Wireless Technology, also known as BLE. It transmits location-based information to any device that runs iOS. In simple terms, beacons are Bluetooth transmitters that can be planted anywhere. Apps on your phones and other devices receive the signals transmitted by these beacons. For example, if you are in a mall, a retailer's app, if already installed, displays special offers and discounts on apparels when you walk past apparels section. To give us more information on beacon technology, we have Marcin Skogilis with us today. Marcin is a senior project manager with Cubist and has worked on some really exciting projects. Hi Marcin, good to have you with us. Yes, hello to all. So Marcin, in this webcast, we are trying to understand the potential of beacon technology in real-world application. By the way, did I explain the beacon concept correctly? In general, yes. Beacons can send some information to the device, but not much. Beacons can transmit only defined identifiers of themselves. That means that beacons do not store data and in most situations the device, such as phone or tablet, must connect to the backend to obtain detailed information about the store, products, promotions, etc. using the internet. Application running on user's device can show whatever is needed based on the beacon's identifier, but that data to be displayed is downloaded from the internet. So in overall, we can show any content to the users based on detected beacons nearby, but beacons alone are very simple devices and can share much to the user. But from the other hand, because of that, the beacons do not consume a lot of energy and the battery power usage is very low. Interesting. So is this technology limited only to Apple devices? No, it is not. Android devices can use beacons as well. Of course, Bluetooth low energy support is required on the device, so it is limited to modern Android devices only. But certainly, the technology is not bound to only to Apple. So, does it mean that your Bluetooth should always be switched on? If you disable Bluetooth on iOS or Android, then all the features regarding beacons will stop working. So you need to have this setting enabled to take advantage of the beacons. Cubers use beacon technology at the Mobile World Congress. Could you tell us how it was applied there? During Mobile World Congress event in Barcelona, we prepared a special application called QBeacon. This application was using the Bluetooth Low Energy to collect codes that were broadcasted by our own beacon at Mobile World Congress booth. Scanning of QR codes available at the stand was an alternative to beacons, but the general idea was to gather codes from users. Finally, a person with the highest number of collected codes won an iPad from Cuberst, and the application also gave users a chance to get discounts for some of Cuberst services. So beacons were used as equivalent of a QR code scanning to collect promotion codes. What are the challenges you face while implementing the technology for our customers? There are no big challenges of using the beacons. The technology is quite easy to use by developers. There exist very well documented APIs for Android and iOS. Of course, developers face some troubles using new technologies, but that's a normal thing. The biggest challenge for us was a moment when we hit some limitations in iOS while using Beacon's monitoring feature, in which only 20 regions are supported for a single application. And for that particular application, we needed much more. So how did you overcome this challenge? We solved this problem by changing spacing of the beacons. Also, instead of using monitoring feature in the iOS, we used a feature called ranging. Of course, it added some overhead and additional discussions with Apple. But after a bit of longer App Store review process, the app is finally live, so it is doable. Anyway, I suggest first, instead of finding technical workaround, to try the, to change the overall approach idea. Retail industry is the most commonly cited real-world use case of Beacon technology. Is it limited only to retail sector? There is a wide range of industries where beacons can be used. Indoor location, mobile advertisements, proximity applications, and also a simple iOS device can emulate the beacon too. So usage cases of this technology is definitely very broad topic. Beacon technology is largely known because of Apple. Is there any alternative to iBeacon? Uh, I'm not sure if another technology equivalent to iBeacons exists, but actually everything depends on the requirements. 
in some cases, as a replacement, we can use just Wi-Fi based location or geofencing. Sometimes NFC or RFID technologies can be used, but all depends on the user's needs. Beacons simply define some new segment of requirements and in addition are easy to implement by developers. So less effort is needed to have the feature done and integrated in the application. You and your team have done a fair bit of development work using Beacon technology. Thank you, Marcin. It was a pleasure talking to you. Okay, thank you very much. If you would like to get in touch with us or know more, please contact us at info at Thanks for watching.